Believe it or not, these people managed to get a license to operate a boat, but that didn't exactly turn them into sea captains. Today, we've got a huge selection of ridiculous moments involving boats, massive ships, and yachts. So now, let's get it on. Unloading didn't exactly go as planned. He forgot that those are for water and not the air. When you can't read the signs too well. Just because you can afford it, doesn't mean you can operate it. Takeoff is really good, but he still needs to work on his landing. With great power comes great responsibility. This saying also applies to watercraft. No matter how skilled Ultramar captains are, it was simply a bad trip to Cozumel. The leading cause of ship accidents? The human factor. the fault of whoever put the bridge there. Ten barges broke loose from a tug in the Ohio River after a collision. This led to authorities shutting the dam since one of them carried 1,400 tons of methanol. Decrease the temperature, he's coming in hot! How not to stop a 50-foot yacht? Side note to the newbies, always vent your jet ski upon refueling. That red warning light was hanging on for dear life. Kayakers, please stick to the rivers that you're used to. Having super yachts also means having super problems. When your drift goes the opposite way of what was planned. Oh, he's with Davy Jones now. This tour, named the Party Piranha, might have had too much party. With the skipper finding it hard to dock, they might have as well continued. Imagine having a lovely stroll down the riverbank. Then suddenly, a container ship appears. Time for a new walking route, I guess. That crash was so powerful, the doomed vessel instantly took on water. A friendly reminder, no boat has ever won over a dock. Ever. The first rule of tug life is to never hug the line. There's no way he was gonna lose that rod. The only thing left he has from his wife and kids. Everything about their docking says it's a rental.
nothing but a good old hit and run. This ferry in Norway faced its biggest obstacle when the captain totally fell asleep. I'm ready. Floor the gas, Johnny. Acknowledge this is a ship cemetery, but I won't be standing in front of them like that. The sandbars of Boca Inlet have claimed yet another victim. If you think jousting at sea doesn't exist, think again. Lack of communication between the ship officer and the cargo unloader caused the SL Star to capsize. 153 containers were lost, but thankfully no lives. When Dad tells you to take your little brother out on the wake boat. Watch how quickly miscommunication between a steers person and his team can spiral in dragon boat racing. wanted to remove the bimini top for a more noticeable tan. Quick, everyone, let's paddle into ramming speed. Either he's drunk or he's still in the process of learning. <laughs> Failing to maneuver to her designated dock, passenger ferry Excellent drifted toward a gantry crane which in turn ignited flammable containers on the port. Go flip! Sorry, mate, that's a boat, not a dock. Sightseeing near boat ramps is one fun activity on the weekends. Give it up, buddy. No bucket can save that now. Meanwhile, in Stewart, Florida, there's been another case of a ghost ship sighting. While unmooring at Barranquilla port, bulk carrier Hakata Queen went out of control. As you can see, it drifted sideways and literally wiped out moored vessels. This dude was so busy with TikTok, he skipped being a skipper. Don't worry, paddle wheel passengers. Forrest Gump's here to save ya. This bloke might be drunk, but he's drunk on luck. He was later rescued by a jet ski all in one piece. When the cargo loader's motto is, one more crate should be fine. Witness the savage power of Tihupo Tahiti. What's 
the difference between a boat and a dipper? Nothing if he's your captain. Sandbars pretty much don't care how much money people have. You might have to fasten your seat belts for this one. Driving a pontoon full speed into a famously unforgiving inlet is lunacy at its best. What in the tournament awaiting disaster is this? Every millionaire's worst nightmare. Two barges broke on the Arkansas River after historic flooding. They struck the dam in unison and released over 3,800 pounds of fertilizer. Well, there goes our car shipment. Great, Bob, you forgot the plugs again. The captive's intrusive thoughts won in trying out sea drifting. Let him have his moment. He's never experienced such speeds before. Residents in Roatan, Honduras, filmed the MSC Armonia's captain performing what is called a career-limiting maneuver. He's not content with wrecking the bimini top, so he's going for the hole. Sometimes, beach day just isn't as relaxing as it should be. What's that? Put it up! Put it up! It looks like he actually baited the other into bumping the stern. Here comes another jet ski wannabe. I think it's about the right time to drop anchor and thumbs up for today's video. Zero points for Team Humans, one point for Team Waves. The sound of crisp, clean money leaving their bank account. Hey, you can't park there. On April 6th, the Milano Bridge made contact with Busan Port through a crane which collapsed. Scrutiny later revealed its captain compromised its maneuvering. Give me a hug, buddy. It's time to accept our fate.
nothing makes a great dipper like a mindless skipper and his craft. Trying to impress the ladies with your ride? Here's a tip, don't take any shortcuts. Only stupidity or rising sea levels answer how it got there. Looks like he already destroyed his bimini top. Now it's time for the hull. When a skipper loves to add thrill by riding wakes. Boss, we have a slight problem. Unloading didn't go exactly as planned. It seems like those cranes were interfering, so the captain tried to take them down. That one time Vancouver's weather chose violence and wrecked a humongous barge. Cowboy. What you're hearing is the sound of their vodka bottles breaking. Water or no water, there's no problem. Air-cooled engine for the win. really something to applaud for. They're gonna have to wait for Mr. High Tide to come back for their tour. In the end, the centrifugal force always stops the fun. Good thing they left their fenders out. The only time a crew can enjoy the crash is their ship's final moments. Coming in hot! But I'm sorry, but I think that didn't help at all. Technically, she's not an idiot driving a boat, but if she can't move a car right, she surely shouldn't know either. Karma has a certified method of punishing those rich kid chads. Thing the reverse parking was a slight redemption factor. Sir, sir, you can't park there. I didn't know the Titanic was made by Disney. It's all fun and games until a big wave comes along. If you're gonna do a backflip, you really have to commit. Honest to God, those waves were saying it's better they stayed there.
he must have been sick of paying toll fees. When you forget to use your handbrake. That's definitely not how you launch a boat. This driver in a small boat decides to take a sharp turn. Lucky no one was hurt. This happened at the World Powerboat Championship at Abu Dhabi Breakwater literally a break on water. He hit everything except the trailer bunks. Hey! Hey, you can't park there! You can't park there! <laughs> With the influx of tourists each year during the Monaco Grand Prix, some people are a tad bit out of control. And for our next magic trick, we make Mima disappear. Listen closely, cause here's what a boat's muffled scream sounds like. When she calls and says her parents aren't home. When you drink more than you fish. Crazy boats and their crazy unused kill switches. Jeff must have aged a thousand years older at that moment. Common Sense called. It said, either get a bigger boat or a better fishing spot. The beer in their hands explains why they hit it. She's not built for living on the edge. This yacht broke free of its mooring lines during a bad storm. And here's a crane rowing down the river. As the Miley Cyrus song goes, I came in like a wrecking boat. You know it's bad when you skip all expressions and jump straight into your crash face. If only tractors doubled as submarines, they wouldn't have a problem. Those scratches never bothered them anyway. Uh, boss, someone didn't scrap those cushions again. It's not difficult to miss a mangrove forest covering hundreds of acres. But some skippers still manage to do that. Hey, this 
This old man has no sense of personal boating space. What is this guy doing? Hey, what are you doing? Get out of here! It's the perfect time to invest in bow fenders. Or boat training. They forgot to put their bungs in. This was the result. This impatient boat tried to race a closing bridge. Bro better have brought his paddles with him. Notice the grip? It already spells disaster. When you're a captain on the outside and a stuntman on the inside. And they simply continued forward as if nothing had happened. they're trying to bring the ocean home as a souvenir. We'll make it, just believe. And they indeed made it. There's nothing like the feeling when you're on top of the world. It looks like they're not going fishing now. This boat is sick of the water and attempts the land instead. Never thought I'd say this in a boat video, but you gotta stick your landing. Row, row, row your boat gently to the shore. These guys stole a boat and drove it to the mouth of the Columbia River. What they didn't anticipate were the treacherous waves reaching 20 feet. Luckily, everyone was saved. Those towing gears were hanging on for dear life. Hey, didn't we say you can't park your raft there? Only the legendary Florida man can pull this off. Hold my beer while I call on the next plague. <laughs> Great timing. The next floor needed some rinsing anyways. Like their boat, they only used half the brain. Hey, at least next time, they'll pass under that bridge without a snag. These chumps simply chose the dumbest possible solution to their problem. 
You can tell they were doomed from the start by how he hopped on. And that's one expensive mistake. This is what happens when frustration kicks in. Give that tug a medal for doing its job so well. They really don't know the definition of passenger limits, do they? No wonder there's a feud between wake boats and fishermen. I guess that's enough beer for today. When you're out to impress the ladies, but don't actually know what you're doing. In the end, girl power solves the problem. Warm the engine up, they said, which is why they're still chilling aboard. This pontoon went below a drawbridge where there were about 50 signs saying otherwise. Fortunately, no one got hurt, making it meme perfect. A true captain always goes down with his ship. Three things are needed for this to work. A boat, a van, and pure redneck energy. So that's why the Titanic had few lifeboats. These guys used them all. if you agree that he's a much better captain than some of those in Miami. They kept calling for more bros, but the collective IQ stayed the same. This is why you need a truck with all-wheel drive and traction control. might want to rethink about investing in an all-wheel drive. It's rear-wheel drive. <laughs> that skipper needs to wake up in this no-wake zone. Picking on someone your own size is a saying which goes both ways. Those ladies ain't leaving their drinks, that's for sure. the water supposed to be on the outside? These laser sailors already capsized a first time. Fate simply wanted to test them for a second. been to a wild party, because that's the only logical reason for this. There was 
was one less gantry crane at the Kaohsiung port when the OOCL Durbin caused a domino effect as it maneuvered towards its assigned berth. This is what a full send looks like. Smashing into not one, but two boats. The boat slipped off its trailer. That's one expensive mistake. Do you know the fastest way up towards a $5,000 violation? Well, this guy sure does. More proof why just the tip can bear massive consequences. Honestly, I think they're safer with paws than hands on the helm. These lovebirds got engaged on the water. Unlike the movies, though, they didn't have a fairy tale ending. Uh, sir, I don't think you can park there. This 32 meter Majesty 105 model, named Lucille Queen, ran aground after striking a reef in Doha, Qatar. People should start getting fined per balloon they litter. Cracker Jack, the power of Hurricane Spurman. Katrina was shown after it left. 30 to 50 foot yachts were sitting where they shouldn't be. Here's Captain Tony's. Hold on to your hats for this I'm close call day caught day on I'm camera. On the west side. I guess my mom was right. Cause when the clock strikes midnight. We've all got that one mate who takes it way too far. Here's a prime example. You just know he had absolutely no say when she said that she wanted to try. <laughs> the Coast Guard is like, you kidding? You sink that at lunchtime? <laughs> Remember, the propeller only works when it's in the water, not in another boat. Good thing he had his mask on. He saved his face from becoming a meme. An easy way to turn your boat into scrap metal. This captain decided to use his propellers as a mud blender. Lesson of the day. Line snaps can get pretty gnarly, so keep a safe distance. I think autopilot boats are still far from reality. Here's the look of a yacht captain who has no care for the rest of humanity. Despite knowing of an incoming squall, the crew of MSC Musica did not double the moorings. The liner broke free and initiated evacuation. Weddings are supposed to be the happiest days of our lives. That is, until you hire this captain. Natural selection is simply waiting for the opportune moment here. into another boat and goes on their way. This yacht was badly damaged during a storm. This Coast Guard vessel met its untimely end when it got a bit too close to the bow of bolt carrier Tolyunai. It experienced suction and was sunk in seconds. The 
bright idea is to touch our like button and not a tanker if you're a fan of ships. Watch your heads, but more importantly, please use them. A few people out there still think that they can stop a yacht with their bare hands. How is this even possible? Here's a display of bad driving and why this guy should never be at the helm again. A group of docked boats? What could possibly go wrong? Naming the boat Crusher seems highly justified now. They didn't even look back at what they gashed. That is small boat energy. These boat thieves sailed to the mouth of the Columbia River, where even the Coast Guard wouldn't dare at this time of year. Hi, ma'am. How's it hanging? Is anyone asking for a weight reality check? How to turn your boat into a giant water scoop. This boat got stuck under a bridge. Watch how they managed to get it out. The medieval Potter Hyam Bridge is famously unforgiving. Here's one of its latest victims, adding to the thousands of scratches on its main tunnel. Relax, it was food service for the sharks. Oftentimes, knowing how to tie a rope is better than just holding it. They embarrassed every Texan with their navigation skills. Professional diver and surfer Mark Healy often makes good calls. One of the times that he didn't was when he dived because he thought the boat was going to capsize. The only thing safe from him is the beer. Go ahead and catapult yourself to the bottom of the video and give us a thumbs up if the clips are a blast so far. We all deserve a buddy who is clingy. This 
poor feller lost his axle making his way up from the boat ramp. This towboat collision probably will cost the captain his job. <laughs> Cargo loading gone horribly wrong. The Fu Yuan Lu Lung disastrously proved civilian docks make good stoppers. En route from China to the US, the one Apis experienced horror. Gale force winds and large swells accounted for over 1,800 lost containers. When your drift move doesn't work as planned, In Norway, sleeping pranks are on a whole different level. That better be his last beer. Notice how the roof changed? That's the sign of a pleasure boater. There's one rule on this boat. In case of emergency, the captain leaves first. This guy is probably a little bit too hydrated to get off. We're not sure what's more embarrassing, the lack of ladder awareness or the lack of upper body strength. Sir, the boat's not sinking. No need to hang on for dear life. Bro is too drunk. He thinks he's steering with the motor up. A bit of a tight squeeze there, don't you think, Captain? the rear wiper wasn't intimidated by that much water. Even with a radar arc, they didn't see it coming. A cargo barge hit the Rainbow Bridge in Novi Sad, Serbia. From the footage, the captain's steering looked erratic drifting in place until it hit the pillar. When your buddy drives his watercraft like he has extra lives. Bro, one boat ain't enough, I want two. Is this a case of overloading or forgetting to put the plug in? You be the judge. They're likely the type to take things slow in the relationship. Plot twist, he's moving his trailer to another truck across the bay. Ever wondered what it's like at the craziest port in the world? 
feast your eyes on this. I guess that was the most they could tilt the vessel, huh? didn't pay attention to them, because the shout should have been, YO HO! We have to admire their 100% dedication, even though their boat only had 50. Oh jeez, it's Davy Jones and the Flying Dutchman! What defines a rental? That defines a rental! It's hard to control your speed, especially if your vision is impaired by a guy in a speedo. was water around to put out that fire. Did they actually expect that was gonna work? It's not even a boat. It's a Tupperware with shovels for paddles. I have never wished for a sandbar to appear so bad in my life. Some are just too rich to hire tree cutters, so they buy a powerboat instead. That's what's called the power hump docking technique. We rate his landing a negative 10 out of 10. First, we realize they're drunk as a skunk. Next, we ask, where are the paddles? Even Jack and Rose envy their bromance. Legends say he stayed there and weathered the storm. Why pay for a sea tow when you have the teens who burned up the fuel? A drink of Red Bull taking effect. He is probably the type of guy who doesn't take off the plastic from new electronics so they won't get scratched. When you have just enough money to buy a yacht with no fenders. Oh my god, bro. Oh, hell. Regattas are infamously difficult. It's hard to tell what other racers will do, making them hard to avoid. Does anyone know how to join this Vietnam trip? It seems like an exciting one. Strong winds robbed two things that day, maneuverability and that dude's hat. And here's the end of our sale. Out of everything that we saw, who do you think takes the crown and trident as idiot king of the seas? Let us know down in the comments and subscribe. Continue by watching our other videos in the boxes on screen now. Click on anyone you see and we'll see you there.